Hello folks and welcome to F1 2022 My Team and Career Mode. This time we are at Imola for episode 4 slash 5 of the uh, My Team and Career Mode because this obviously we had a sprint race at Imola and this one is the full race I did 100% distance on it as well and uh, yeah we're, we're, we're going to watch it and go through the whole thing Off the line, got a bit of a slow start, but only got jumped by Bell. Managed to carry a bit of momentum, you see the teeth in there. And I see a gap here, I thought, you know what, I'm going for that. I don't dive bomb too many, but you see straight away, all of these are legit manoeuvres as well. We get Vettel and Latifi. Uh, so we get Vettel and Latifi there. Down pass to Northern Stroll. I think, oh fuck, I'm kind of running out of room here. That's my teammate as well, by the way, so I didn't want to make contact, so I decided to take the easier route. My teammate comes back past me. But we do get Gwen Yu Jo. We go now, everyone boxes up. We go really slow, I decide to keep putting a little bit and just head straight past my teammate. And then again, going really slow, I thought, well, I'm not just going to stick around here, I'm going to go around the outside, and around the outside of all three Bottas we go. You hear though, Bottas trying to come by, a squeeze into the inside, but then leaving the room. And you see, we're off the road a little bit, but I didn't want to make contact with him, so I was just leaving a little bit of extra space. So then we'll do the uh, external cam here. In fact, no, we won't, because I believe I might go for a minute here. Very far back, but you can see it's clean as a whistle on Alex Albon. And there you go, so in one lap, we've gone up six positions there. And from then on, we basically just keep trying to push forward and gain as many positions as we can. So let's uh, fast forward a little bit. I don't want to do the full replay, because that will be like an hour and a half of just me sat here. So I got a bit of a poor run there and Albon is now on me. I'm buying through there, but look, there's, there's something going on further up with Perez, I believe. Is it even Perez or someone else? Oh yeah, it's uh, Mick Schumacher and Norris, you see. They go side by side here. And that slows down Schumacher, which in turn slows Perez and Norris down. So they both have to back up and it just backs them all up and they're all going really slow out the corner. And here we come, we're just thinking, well, oh, go around the outside again. But I didn't make it stick that time. I ran a bit too deep and ended up losing position to Albon. Then we're squeezing Albon to the inside. Albon mistake, and we go clean around his outside. And then as well here, I think we get a really good run off, uh, off of this turn. So Albon's there. See, we're not too far behind Pierre Gasly. I think about it. I actually decided not to do it though just yet. But look at the speed I'm able to carry through there. You'll see, look, I actually have to get out of, of, of the road. Look, I've carried so much more speed through here than the AI. But we're so close to Gasly, I just didn't want to hit him. So I just opened the steering slightly. Run slightly off track, but that was literally just to save me from wings. I did not want to lose it this early into a 100% distance race. All over the back of him now. No, no DRS yet at this stage, of course. Look how close we are. I couldn't make my mind up which way I wanted to go. So I tried the outside, it was just squeezing me out. So then I went to the inside and I squeezed him out. Let's fast forward a little bit. See, I actually had really, really good pace around here. Look, you see, look, look how far away we were from Ricardo, right? And just watch how, how quickly we're catching up. Look at the speed difference through there. You see, I'm still within all the white lines and everything. I just carry so much more speed than, uh, sorry, Norris through there. And then look, I'm all over the back of him now. See, so staying within the lines and look how close I am. Trying to try it around Norris's outside, and look at that again, clean as you like, straight around the outside of Lando Norris. And of course, I did get DRS from him. So, 
of that managed to keep keep the position as well. But you see up in front as well. So it's this time it's Mick Schumacher and Daniel Ricciardo. Might have been slowing each other down. You see here we come. Catch it on to the back, back of them. And then you go Perez and Ricardo side by side. It gives me even more room. I get an amazing run out of that corner and straight down the inside of Ricardo. Well, let's uh let's ride on board wheels actually through that. So you can see they're side by side here. You turn in. Got a much better line. And look at the Ricardo has a little bit of a squirm there as well. And look, we're on his inside. I'll just hold that and take that position. Thanks very much, Ricardo. We'll just fast forward through the bits where not much happens to be fair. We can see, look, I've got so much pace. I'm on the soft tyre, by the way. The, the cars in front, like Perez, are on the hard tyre. Right, this is because um, the game actually told me that there's a chance of rain. So I thought, right, well, I'm going to do an aggressive early strategy and pit onto the mediums and go long. Where a lot of the AI was starting on the harder compound. So we'll see how that works out from later on. But my idea was to just be ready to pit in on these mediums before the rain comes. So that we've got Perez's DRS, we're getting closer, closer, closer. Where are we going to go? We decided to go to the inside, but we just bail out of it there because you'll notice I was going for it but I was going for it here and then I noticed that Perez has a lock up right about there and I was like yeah I'm not doing that because he might be crashing so he has a bad lock up which obviously doesn't help him out of the corners so we're still right with Perez come through here just carry a bit more speed once again And then here we start settling into a groove, five laps in. Just thought, right, I'll just keep pushing, see where I can end up. See, we're in a bit of a DRS train with Perez and Schumacher here. Perez and Schumacher are getting closer, no one goes for a move just yet though. So, up in front of us, of course, Perez and Schumacher do start battling eventually. See, we're dropping back a little bit, and I tell you what, this actually just kind of kept happening. I kept catching and dropping back a little bit, and then catching again and dropping back a little bit. It was like a consistent thing, but not not only with this battle. So you see here, Perez, he's very close, but it doesn't go for a move. Schumacher is actually on the hard as well. Oh no, he's on the medium. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, as well as Kevin Magnussen, he's also on the medium. See, we've actually dropped back a little bit because we didn't have the DRS from Perez. So we'll fast forward, you can see nothing going on for me. Perez once again not going for anything. And here we go, another lap later, you see we've dropped even further behind because we just have we, that's high maximum pace basically. I shouldn't be catching those cars, especially in our my team car. But you see, four seconds, and then uh on lap 10, Perez is on hard, bear in mind, so hang on, uh, yeah, I think it's here. So on lap 10, Perez finally decides to go for the move on Mick Schumacher. Here we go, there it is, there's the contact, Mick Schumacher's in the gravel, Perez has lost his front end plate. You see, we come through there, nice and easy, that's another free position for us. But then we come to the start of the next lap, Perez is in. And bear in mind, I'm on the soft tyres here, so I thought, yep, this is a, a good time for me to come in because, uh, I don't know why it's not told me on here, but there was actually a safety car because of Mick Schumacher uh, having that spin. So we come out in P18, but of course, only myself and Perez have pitted. Mick Schumacher still hadn't pitted, and uh, yeah. But here is where we're just about to go green. And you see, I actually missed time this really badly. Everyone else is gone now, and I was just asleep. You can see the gap between myself and Perez there. I was completely asleep. There we go. 
got now. We're in P18 uh, and we are on fresh meters. Look at that, I got so wide there. We ran on board. Just touched the gravel and I nearly spun it and Albon's thinking, oh, I'll have a move then. So he sticks his nose in but doesn't commit to it fully so we just keep it wrapped outside. See here, look. Look how much time they cost to each other. Look how far behind I was and then look. Just the Constantino effect, and we're right on the back of Perez there. See, I'm using ERS there on the steering wheel, and I think about it, I think about it, and I go for it up the inside of Perez. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Again, clean as you like, I was right on board with Perez for that manoeuvre. You see, I'm on the inside here, that straight through Perez. Almost doesn't even try and find it, fight it, sorry. But he's on fresh softs and he thinks about going down the inside, he just backs out of it again. Look at this, we got a mega run out of there, using a bit more ERS. And there we go, down the inside and make sure back of there. Yeah, this was a tremendous race, so I really enjoyed it. And here we go again. Can we make a move on the T feet? Not quite, but we're very close to this training run. And don't forget, this train after a safety car, so up to about P7, Kevin Manson, they're all extremely close. See, I got a very nice line there. Think about it. Do I do the same thing to the seat fit? No. I've noticed I'm being a lot more sensible with my overtakes, to be honest. Good thing, of course. But here we go, now we've got a decent one. Do we finally decide? Yeah, we've got clean down the inside of the Nicholas to see here. And now we're right on the back of Blan Yu Zhou here. So we we will of course have Blan Yu Zhou's DRS if we stay this close we're going to the DRS so there we go, there's the there's the DRS. And we just didn't quite gain because obviously we've all got DRS from each other, so quite happened. But again up in front, we started blowing each other up, so this time it's uh Daniel Ricardo and Espen Ocon, side by side, a bit of contact made between them two as well, and then they go side by side through this next corner, and you can see just look how slow they're all going, it costs them so much time, and we decide, you know what, let's back Joel up a little bit, I'll go for it inside of Joel, let's go, so that's another position gain, that's probably about 10 positions gained already, like bear in mind, we started P20 and ended up back in P18, Pit stop, but we're doing very well here, getting some nice clean old tricks. Here again, look at the run we get. A proper, proper good exit. But you just know that he decides, decides to defend the inside, and we thought, okay, yeah, fair enough, we'll go to the outside then. And look at this, again, he gets slightly boxed in by his teammate, Peter Gasly, there, and we just take the position to ride on board with him. See us on the outside and look, Pierre Gasly just covers him off a little bit too harshly and there's nothing he can do worth through there. Of course here we've got the DRS train again, but look in front again side by side, Daniel Ricardo and Valtteri Bottas this time, which cost Gasly time and look at that. Another brilliant manoeuvre around the outside of Pierre Gasly there. See these two up in front still battling, costing each other time. We just captured and handled the fist here. Look at that, look at the run. Bottas got a very poor exit there. We ran a bit wide, but look, we managed to turn it in nice and easy the apex. But look at that, what a run we got off there. And then Bottas decides to stick. Oh, that's the wrong one. Bottas tries to stick it there and then backs out of it mid apex. So he left me the space on the outside, and I left him the space here, and he just backed out of it. So I thought, right, okay, that's enough position gain. And we try and hunt down Daniel Ricciardo. Here we go, DRS open. Where do we go, where do we go? We go to the outside. Daniel Ricciardo outbreaks us a little bit, but he outbreaks himself as well, look at that. So we'll ride on board with ourselves here. See here we come in the massive over speed from the DRS, we go to the outside, and uh, there it is, Ricardo just outbraced himself, we took under him, like so, and there you go, that's another move made, but here's the 
one we need to be watching. Sergio Perez at this stage, obviously he's put on the fresh sauce, he's in a Red Bull. He was going very quickly at this stage. He actually got the fastest lap and held it till the end of the race in this stint. So you'll see, he does start to catch us. There we go, Daniel Cardo defending. Perez, Ooh, just getting a bit uh, boxed in there. Nowhere really for him to go. He keeps trying, he keeps trying, he's thinking about it here, and does he pull it off? Bit of contact there, I didn't notice that actually before. But still side by side, but Perez gets a very good run using his ERS. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There you go, he's got the move pulled off on Daniel Cardo. But then, here comes Ricardo again with the DRS because Perez of course overtook him before the detection zone which might have been a mistake on his, foot, on his part but look at that straight down the inside of Ricardo very aggressive from Perez and here they are they're still side by side but Perez eventually gets the move done then here we started having a bit of a lonely race you can see Norris there in front of us three seconds in front and Perez three seconds behind so we'll keep going and there you go Perez is caught us two laps later of course, he's in the Red Bull. If he was in a much faster car, I'd say, you know what? I'm not even going to fight it. You can see, look, I do full well. Perez had the faster car. So we break early, decide to let him through. But look at this. Perez, we have horrific rock up. Lock up, sorry. And we just come straight back past. You know, I, I wasn't even trying to find that manoeuvre, I was quite happy to let Perez go. And he messes it up by locking up. And you see, again, another lap later now, Perez is back on us. Obviously he has a much faster car. There you see, he's passed us this time. And once again, I'm not trying to fight it, I just let him go. There's, there's no, no point in me fighting him, he's in a Red Bull, I'm in the my team car. He's nowhere near as fast. It would be honestly absolutely stupid for me to try and defend against Paris. It would just end up costing me time. But you see, comes at the end of the lap, we actually have DRS off Paris. So, yeah, that works for us. I was like, mm, maybe you'll pull us up to Lando Norris. So we just try our best to stay within a second of Perez. You see, here he is battling with Lando Norris. And he gets the move done on Norris, plain and simple, look at that, straight through. But we managed to gain a little bit of time, so we gained about half a second on Norris there while they were battling. So I was quite happy with that in all honesty. We see again, another lap later, we gained another couple of tenths. And then here, Norris is actually set at 1.2 seconds in front of us as Charles Leclerc boxes, by the way. So we're getting closer and closer. You see here, Everyone decides to box. All the people that hadn't boxed, Norris, Sonoda, uh, Alonso, Hamilton. So it ends up being myself, Magnussen, Perez, Ocon, Russell and Verstappen who are still out. But you see, I am actually very close to Kevin Magnussen, who hasn't boxed, by the way. Yeah, Magnussen has not boxed. He just ended up losing a lot of time somewhere. <laughs> See, we were wide there, costing us quite a lot of time. But we're still just about within Kevin Magnussen's DRS range here. But that Haas car is extremely fast on this game. So you'll see, we, we are six tenths behind. Uh, come to the end of the straight, and we've only gained a tenth and a half. Nowhere near enough to even contemplate going for a move. But there you see, everyone else has come into the pits now. So the top three, as it stands, legit, is Perez, Magnussen, and then ourselves. So I was happy with that. And then this ended up for about five or six laps, I believe. We were just in a train with Magnussen. You see, Perez is in on that lap as well. We just couldn't quite get close enough to Magnussen to get past him. So that's three laps. This is the fourth lap now. We're behind Magnussen. You see, we're closer again. We're two and a half tenths. I think about it, but just decide now. We're too far back, I can't go for it. So we just keep going again for another lap. See, look, it's this uh, middle section. 
seems to be pulling away from me. I was captaining him sector one and three, but the middle sector he just seemed to manage to pull it back out. A little, little bit of a gap he managed to pull it back away from me. See there I got the curb, cost me a bit of time on the exit. But you can see behind the cars of Sainz, Verstappen and the clerk were all starting to catch us. Now that would be for position. I wouldn't have to let them through, but I was kind of thinking, do I let them through and get them to cost Magnussen a bit of time, hoping to get past him at a, a, a bad part of the track, basically. But here we go, this is the closest we've been at the start of the straight. So we're two tenths, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. Do I go for it? No, I once again decide not to go for it. Looking back, I probably could have dived it from there. See, look how close Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen are to us at this point. I knew it was inevitable that they were going to come past me. I just wasn't going to try and fight it at all. But I didn't want to lose too much time to uh, Kevin Magnussen, obviously. You see, there you go. Sainz, I decide to let him go around the outside. But look. Uh, so here's on board with Sainz. I actually... ERS. I don't defend at all, I just let him go clean around the outside, but for no reason at all, he just runs wide. He just goes really slow, look, you can see with us, I don't dive down the inside enough it. I tried to back out, it just went so slow, so we ended up coming past him, and so does Max Verstappen. See, I've uh, got a bit of a kick of oversteer there, and again. But look at this, Verstappen, very close to us. I thought, no, I'm just going to sit here, Verstappen will get me on the DRS. Here we go, Verstappen coming past now, not defending it once again, like I said. But then Sainz, out of nowhere, sends it as well. Almost costing us a front wing there, if you watch, because I did not know he was there. I thought he'd drop back a little bit after his quick uh, line, but here we go. We were just about ready to turn in. And there I know it's Sainz, was like, whoa, where has he come from? Managed not to make contact with him or anything like that, but Sainz backs out of the move and here's Verstappen now. It's all over the back of Magnussen. Does he think about it? No, he decides to sit behind us for now. And then here, Sainz, I don't know what he was trying to do, but you can see, I didn't want to go for an overtake there because I knew if he got past me here, he was going to cost me time because this is my fastest section of the track. But look, I cover the inside and he backs out of it, so I thought, right, that's that move done. But then look, he decides to stick it up the inside again, making contact with us, knocking part of his front wing off. And then I just thought I was really sloppy from Zainz, really. We clearly shut the door on him. We were not going to let him come through. But we are now pretty much approaching half distance in this race. Magnus is really slowing this happen now to see we're within DRS. But you can see also. If you look up to the skies, they're starting to get a bit gloomy, so that rain that I was hoping for might finally start coming soon. But here we go, Verstappen, DRS to get past Magnussen. We've got DRS as well from Verstappen. Magnussen tries not to fight it, just lets Verstappen through. So this just sort of, just sort of stayed where it was really, a sort of stalemate. And then I run wide there. Uh, Charles Leclerc is right here with us, by the way. I, I didn't realise that at that point that he was that close. So, uh, we got another big slide there, though, on the curve. Took a little bit too much exit curve. And here comes Leclerc. He's got IDRS here. He's definitely going to go for it. So we don't bother about trying to running wide or anything like that and just sit with it and here comes Sainz look at that look at the straight line speed a double Ferrari overtake but watch this from my POV here we come into turn two technically and they just uh, disappear basically absolutely disappear and see look they're already on the back of Magnussen look how much speed they can carry but Magnussen me, myself and Magnussen had very, very similar pace at this stage in the race, but here we go, Charles Leclerc. Is he going to go for it around the outside of Magnussen? Ooh, he thinks about it, but look how slow they're going there. They end up costing each other so much time, and then they just 
really, really messing it up for themselves. You see, we are getting closer and closer again. Like, look how close we are now. We were nowhere near that close a minute ago. And here you go, we're riding on board with Kevin Magnussen. Half distance. And I thought, right, these Ferraris, they're going to do him. But look, here you go. There it is, big puff of smoke from Kevin Magnussen. And that's him out of the Grand Prix due to an engine failure. Now at this point, I was actually really annoyed, you know. You might think, oh, I bet he's loving that he's getting the free position. But no, it actually really annoyed me because I was having such fun just chasing down Magnussen. I was really enjoying it. It just kind of stopped. You can see there, I'm getting very close to the Ferraris because... Right and Bowie's look, they're side by side here. And they just end up slightly touching each other, which obviously we don't have anyone in front of us really, so we just keep our absolute best corner speed. And I'm looking for it, I'm looking for it. And Sainz goes so slow mid apex there. We've got a big slide there. And once again, the Ferraris just start to disappear, obviously showing that they're a much faster car than us, which they are. Speaking of faster cars, Lewis Hamilton's arrived on the scene now. So he's going to have our DRS down the next straight, which, you know, again, I wasn't going to try and defend it. You see, look at that big slide that we got there. So here we are, coming out the corner. Just a little too eager on the throttle, you see. Look, look at that. Mega slide. And then Hamilton just gets the run. Obviously he had the RS anyway, so just decides to disappear basically. So we're riding over ourselves. And here we are, another two laps later. Russell's got the RS in us. He's come past. But yeah, fair enough. As I said, much faster car. There's no point in me defending at all. So just leave them go. Here we go, another lap later. It's back to Sergio Perez. He's coming back for it, and at this point I was thinking, you know what? Myself and Perez are on different strategies, but I was racing with him earlier on. So I'm actually going to defend this position against Perez. The top, the top five were worlds, worlds above in terms of pace, but look at that. See, I actually uh, mess up here. Because you can see, actually, it shows it much better from that camera angle. See where you can see the drops of rain. Can you see them? I don't know if you can see them on the uh, screen. We can see on the halo the drops of rain. So it's starting to get a little bit greasy. And just slight contact there. And I thought, yeah, I'll break a normal point. And it was definitely too much to see. Look, lock up the inside left here. It's only tiny. It does not look, look at that. We are turning left and going straight. So I might, might trying to defend from Perez. We end up costing ourselves time. But you can see it gets so wet, it gets so wet. And Perez, look at this, he sends it down our inside. Completely legit maneuver. But then just completely stops for no reason whatsoever. If you watch it from our point of view, you see you weren't just driving. I thought, right, yeah, fair enough, he's got me. Breaks early, and then he just did that. I don't know what he was doing. But look at how wet the track is getting already. Really struggling to start to see the lock up again. The uh, run wide because I hit too much curve. But look, I just could not get on the power at all. And then pretty much everyone at this stage was coming into the pits. Apart from Carlos Sainz. And I don't know why he did that. So you can see obviously we're in the pits. Bear in mind we are in this position folks. We, we only made one prior stop, so we were in this position on merit. And then Ocon, of course, goes past the pit wall as well because Alonso's in. But we get a perfect time spot, uh, stop, sorry. And we are out, back on track in P7 when Carlos Sainz and Esteban Ocon still have to box because obviously they haven't come in for the wets. As you see here. This is the first lap on the wet, so I was just really, really struggling. Like, the first lap I've ever even done on this game in the wet. Hey, Perez, much better exit than us, but look at this. This is poo time. Here we come down the straight side by side with Perez. And there's George Russell. That was nearly a front wing. And then Perez is down our inside, but he locks up again. 
and we just come clean back around the outside of him and look at that and that is now folks P5 so right on board here's me so close to the wall being squeezed by Perez and then there's Russell oh my god that was near death you see Perez is on the inside just locks up goes deep we don't straight back around the outside look at that slide and then once again look at that slide so difficult this game but look Perez gets a much better run than us as well oh no sorry it wasn't Perez because here Perez I don't know what he was doing you can see look he's nowhere near me he just decides to drive off the road I don't know what he was doing and yeah Perez just drove off the road you see there Russell went wide and Alonso's down his inside look at that but I was really struggling here. I was losing so much time in the wet. So we move on to the DRS straight. I don't think Alonso's close enough to have a go. You can see that Alpine really quick in a straight line. He goes for it and decides to back out. But he definitely thinks about it. And here we are a lap later and it's George Russell this time. He's coming very close to us. And that, that by the way, behind us, is our teammate Oscar Piastri he was having an absolute terrible race he had been lapped by us at this stage because he had done six stops yeah he'd done six pit stops I, I had no idea what he was doing but it was just not a good day for him at all so look at this George Russell thinks about the inside decides to back out of it once again from this point on I was terrified I was just losing so much time but obviously I was in the best position of my career in fifth I did not want to give it up you see Russell slight touch the between myself and Russell he goes to the inside so I leave him plenty of space but he, he just hits too much curb so look, he turns in way too early hits the curb there's a slight contact wheels there, I don't know if you can see it, front wing to front wing, slight contact that sends us off the track, and Russell's back down the inside of us, I thought I'm not having that, so just kept my foot planted around the outside and kept it going. George Russell of course in the Mercedes quite a lot quicker in a straight line and look at this we got a shocking exit there look we're okay through that turn but look this turn just big slide there I don't know if you could quite see that but a big slide gives Russell a little bit of a run to us he switches back to the inside and then once again decides to back out of it but then look at that I got a poor run once again George thinks about the outside has a big snap there mid corner and Piastri actually gets past him so obviously Piastri got past George Russell there so Piastri lapped and had to let Russell back through along with the five cars that were starting to catch the back of us now we were cost I would me especially was going so slow in this weather but look at this Russell again so much faster but look he had a big slide there on the exit look you can see it Touches a bit too much curve, big slide. I can't believe he saved that to be honest, but look at how close it gets to me. But I decide to, to stay on the racing line this time. Don't try to defend it, don't do anything silly. Just kept it there. You see here actually. Russell, he's like, I'm gonna be a smart ass and go to the inside here. But here we go. I squeeze him to the inside and then just don't give him the room at all and he has a big slide there. Here comes Fernando Alonso, the wily old fox, he's thinking about it, doesn't, have any, doesn't actually go for it in the end but he's definitely thinking about it. But yeah, I'm struggling so much to put the traction down so it's the first race I've ever done on this game in the wet. It was all a learning curve and look at the run that Russell's got on his ear. The 
said, he's like I said, quite a lot quicker in a straight line. We decided just to keep it on the inside and Russell. You can see, look, there is no contact made between myself and Russell. But no contact made. And he just locks up or something. I don't actually know what he did. So we'll slow it down. See, no contact, no contact, no contact. There it is, look. You can see the front left completely locked up. So he locks up the front left, he's fully turning to the left, but the car just can't do it because he's locked up. He rejoins pretty poorly, to be fair, with Fernando Alonso. Right on board yourself, Fernando Alonso, ever closer. But we managed to pull a little gap on that lap, and this is another lap later. Fernando Alonso, very close to us again. Now it's Alonso trying to attack me, we cover him off there, but look, he sticks to the inside, he sticks to it. And I just carry the momentum around the outside. See, that looks really bad there. It looked like I slowed down or something, but you see. Fernando, he's on the inside, clips too much of that sausage curve. Look, you see, it lifts his car in the air, he then can't turn. Touches me there, which pushes me into a big slide onto these curbs and I'm amazed I held it that's why it looked like I was going so slow because Fernando clips the inside sausage curb clips my rear wheel and I just managed to hold it look at that you can't really see it on that camera angle the slide but it was quite a big slide and I'm amazed I was able to save it being, to be completely honest with you and Russell now side by side with Alonso to the outside can he get the traction? It looks like he can, and he's done it. He's passed Alonso. And now it's Russell on us again. It was just relentless for this whole race. I had no breathing time at all. Russell thinks about the inside, doesn't quite get it pulled off. I just carry on as normal. And again, another lap later, it's Russell again. He's very close. I don't think he's quite close enough to go for anything though here. No, he's definitely not quite close enough. Yeah, so we managed to keep the position there. And then here, uh, Russell actually came into the pits, did he? Oh no, sorry, I thought he came into the pits then. No, he's side by side with me. So you can see there, we actually got a mega slide again. There it is, big slide. I'm all the way to the inside of the track there. Russell already coming past us I was using every ounce of ERS that I had but you see look Fernando Alonso as well the wily old fox he's back there again he's thinking I'll follow Russell through but I stay to the inside and it's side by side with George Russell Russell backs out of a pretty done move to be fair he had he had that move done on me there was no way I could have come back from it but he just backs out of it next lap it's Alonso again this time he's managed to get back past Russell <laughs> and you can see the train of cars there that I was backing up just because I just my car obviously is nowhere near as fast as these cars but in the dry I could manage it I really like this track so I could just about keep pace with about P10 P11 but in the wet I was absolutely nowhere I would I was still quicker than my teammate bear in mind I was still quicker than my teammate in the wet, so that's a good thing, but I just had no pace whatsoever to go another lap later. Alonso still behind us with Russell right behind him. And then look at this, Alonso, he's all over the road though, he's thinking about going for moves, but eventually decides not to do anything. And to the next lap, you see they're both battling back there, they're a little too far away from me to worry about it. The side by side with each other, who's going to come out better? Alonso's got the inside, ooh, bit of contact between them, Russell not giving in though, look at this side by side again, but Alonso just forces Russell wide. And I'll tell you what, some of the battling from the AI in this game is actually brilliant, really, really good. Uh, it's definitely the most enjoyable uh, game from the F1 series that I've played in terms of racing with the AI. See, now Ocon gets past Russell, but just slams the brakes on mid-corner. I'll show you that again. This is Ocon and Russell. You see, he gets past him. 
there and then basically just stops mid corner and look how much of a gap we've pulled just from that one corner we've got two seconds on them so we've got to the next lap where they're all actually two seconds behind us i think something happened to alonso I don't think he ever got close enough to us during that lap, to be completely honest, but he, he dropped back a little bit. It may have been a mistake, but you see, he's back with them now, so we've got two seconds of breathing space. So I'm like, oh my god, thank god I can finally have a break. But no, again, I can't. That's how much slower I was. At the end of the lap, he caught me by two seconds, and look, he's right on us again. The pressure just did not let up at all in this race. See Alonso though, he's having a sniff at the inside, he do not go for it though. And now it's Ocon behind us, he's managed to get past Alonso somewhere, and now it's Ocon behind us. But I think Ocon makes a mistake somewhere, because he definitely comes to Fernando on us again. Oh, there it is, there it is! You saw the big slide from Ocon there, let's uh, ride on board with him. Didn't actually see that. Yeah, so here we go, here's Ocon. Yeah, too much curve, big slide, and then Russell's past him. And here comes Perez as well. Perez. Look at that. Big slide from Perez. Perez doesn't actually manage to get past him. That's, that's a bit of a rule, I thought he did. To round and board wheels, you see, we've got a bit of a gap because Russell and Ocon are battling again. Along with Perez as well, actually, our lad. <coughs> See, they were side by side again, but look, this is how much time we've lost. Charles Leclerc there in the Ferrari was coming round to lap us all. Perez gets out of the way. Here is Russell out of the way. Ocon out of the way. And we're just here. I didn't even realise I was blue flagged at this minute. I thought maybe Piastri was working his way back through. But I decide, I think it's here. Yeah, here. I just get out of the way, go a little bit too far though, and I get on the grass. That gives Esper Ocon a brilliant run on us. I was like, oh crap, oh crap, I'm going to lose the place, but I stick to the inside. Just about managed to keep my position. And then of course we got the big DRS straight. Obviously no DRS in these conditions. Lock on switching and changing which side he wants to go to. We just sit in the middle of the road. Don't make it easy for him at all. And another lap later, here it is again. But this time it's Perez, you see Perez, I'm side by side with Ocon, and then Perez decides, oh I'm going to come through, I didn't see that either, I've not seen a lot of these, a bit of contact between Perez and Ocon though, look, there's contact between them two, and now it's Perez in a Red Bull, a very, very fast car who's on us, you see we run wide onto the grass and Perez is up the inside, but I think, uh, the AI actually started backing off here because you could just about see Lewis Hamilton in the uh, in, in the middle of that train. He was coming to lap us as well. I think they all started to back off and let Hamilton through. Yeah, you can see there. So we keep going because obviously Hamilton wasn't quite near us yet. Well, that might have been Russell's fault, but Hamilton does lap us. So this is actually our final lap of the race, I think. Ah, that's Verstappen, that's why I got confused. So this is Verstappen behind us. This is our last lap of the race, and I'm gonna let you... Uh, I'll just show the full thing. Because obviously, it says 62 out of 63, but obviously we are uh, a lap down at this stage, so we actually finished the race on this lap. So here's the staff and I get well out of his way because I don't want to lose any time to Perez. And look at this Perez closing, closing, closing. And I was like, come on, come on, come on, just pushing myself here. Because I was in P5, remember, still in P5. I was just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Because you can see I lost a minute and ten seconds to Carlos Sainz. 
since it went to the wet. That's a lot of time to lose, but you can see I'm still a long way ahead of my teammate. And Perez, where was he trying to go there? I didn't even see that. So we tried to go around my outside there. We run wide, get onto the um, big sausage curves, mess our, mess our line up. Ah, here is where Hamilton laps. We see Hamilton. Perez backed out of it really early to let Hamilton through. And here we come. I did not realise it was the last lap at this stage, remember. So I'm coming through. Uh, just, to start, just stay on the racing line. That's what I thought I should do, and I did. And see, here we come. I use all my ERS here to defend from Perez, not knowing it was the last lap. But there we are. That is the last lap. Race complete. And we finished in, oh that's weird, ah oh, that's results for the weekend. So obviously we had the sprint, uh, the sprint this weekend as well, but we got one point, uh, where are we on the, yeah the, so we got one point in the sprint race, uh, and then the re results in the race, we took an engine penalty as well folks, I forgot to say, that's why we started so far back, we had brilliant pace, but we started very far back because uh, we took a brand new engine. So I forgot to mention that early on, but we took a brand new engine and started from 20th place and managed to get all the way up to P5. But you can see all of us did two stops, whereas Perez did three, Ocon did three, the majority of drivers did three, but Oscar Piastri, five stops. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what happened to him. He had no pace and he did five stops. So that was just really confusing to me. But um, yeah, that has been my version of the highlights from the race rather than F1's version because it comes down to about two minutes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, let me know, folks, in the comments if you prefer my version of the highlights or if you'd prefer if I just did, uh, of course... Uh, F1 game highlights which is literally about two minutes even for a full race which is really annoying um, but yeah if you did enjoy this video please feel free to press like comment subscribe all that good shit and yeah I shall see you all in future episodes take care folks bye bye